Like his 21 senior classmates, Zervin Singleton returned to Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium for an Annapolis farewell. What followed was a fitting send-off. For the second straight game, Singleton rushed for three touchdowns while gaining more than 100 yards, putting a fourth quarter run that secured an 11-point victory. Ballard is the fullback, counter action to the short side right, pitch for Zervin Singleton at the 10. Outruns two tacklers into the end zone! Another touchdown! Three's a at the point of Navy's triple option was Jared Bryant, who capitalized on his first start under center with 139 yards rushing. On defense, Greg Thrasher highlighted his home finale with an interception. Linebacker Ross Pospisil totaled 20 tackles, continuing the sophomore's emergence on a defense that would truly come of age within the next two weeks on a frigid Saturday in December. For the fourth time in the 108 editions of Army-Navy, America's game came to Baltimore, where the midshipmen marched into M&P Bank Stadium, destined to take their place in Academy lore. As winners of the series' last five encounters, they set out to be the first to celebrate a sixth straight. To do so, this Navy team known for its high-octane offense would lean heavily on its other two units. Scoreless for 14 minutes, the mid sees the lead on Zerbin Singleton's eighth touchdown in four games. The outside receiver, a toss to Zerbin Singleton, running it right side, 35, 30. Zerbin is gone, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! And after an Army field goal, Navy's response was delivered by its right. captain. Averages 26 yards per run back. This kick is driven in Reggie's direction. Backs up the field at the two. Runs it right side, 5-10. To the 15-20, Campbell, the first across the 30. Reggie Campbell to midfield. Angling left to the 45-40. Reggie Campbell out running to Olsen to the 20. 15-10. Reggie, Reggie Campbell's, Campbell's second return for a touchdown in three games lifted the mids and deflated the Black Knights. Next play proved disastrous. One to the right, the handoff goes to McMahon, who loses the football at the 15. Knocked inside the 10, recovered by Navy and Pierce. The Mids have it at the 5, and pulling it away. Three plays Mackin. after Irv Spencer's recovery. Shun White scored for the Mids. With her defense in control, the cadets, Joey Bullen offered a parting shot before the half with a career-long 51-yard field goal. Whatever Hope Army held out began to slip away. Ross Pospisil collected a fumble, forced by Jonathan Alvarado at the Navy Wad. Thereafter, a route was in the works. With Troy Goss handling the final snap, the mids punctuated blue and gold by shouting beat Army in the past tense for the sixth straight year. In this case, by a 38-3 final.